Hi, my name is Andy Park. Welcome to this channel. In this video, I'll show you how I take my handwritten notes from Notability into Microsoft OneNote. If you've been following this channel, you know I use OneNote to type my notes for work. However, there are occasions when I prefer to take handwritten notes instead. And for that, I use Notability. In general, in meetings where I have to take copious notes, I tend to type them into OneNote. These tend to be meetings that I'm either facilitating or where I have to send a recap to the team after. But when I don't have this burden, I tend to take handwritten notes instead. This helps me be more engaged in the meeting discussions and helps me think critically about topics that are discussed. Also, when I don't have access to multiple monitors, like when I'm away from my desk, I prefer to keep the laptop screen on the meeting interface and take notes on a separate device like my iPad. Now, as to why I chose Notability over others, I tried a few different note-taking apps on my iPad, including OneNote itself, but I found Notability offered the best experience for handwritten notes, and it's simple to use. If you think it'd be helpful for me to make a basic tutorial on using Notability, please let me know in the comments below. One thing I should highlight before we get into the tutorial is that Notability lives in the Apple ecosystem. And for that reason, you get the best compatibility and full feature set if you sync to iCloud and access the notes from your iOS or macOS devices. However, for my purpose, I want these notes to be stored in my OneNote so that I can have all my notes in one place. I don't want my notes scattered in multiple places since that's going to make it difficult for me to retrieve later. And that's really the focus of this video, how I take simple notes from Notability and bring them into OneNote. Okay, let's get into this. The first way is to export the note pages as a PDF directly into OneNote. Select Share from the main screen. Select the note you want to export. Click the Share button and select Other Apps. For format, I generally choose PDF, but you can choose image file like JPEG or PNG as well. Let's keep the PDF format and click on the Share icon again. Then swipe through the different apps and choose OneNote. Select the location in OneNote where we want to save the PDF note. Rename the note page and add a note if you like, and send. Open our OneNote app on our iPad and navigate to the notebook and section where we exported the PDF to. We see that the note has been inserted as an attachment. We can select the file and choose Print Out. And that looks pretty good. What happens if we export multiple notes at once? Let's try that. Back in Notability, hit Share. Then let's choose these top two notes. Select Share and Other Apps. And since we're leaving all these settings the same, simply choose Share Notes. Find and select OneNote. Choose the location, which is now showing the last used location. And let's rename and send. And as we see, both notes have been inserted into this single note page. We can of course select each attachment and choose print out. Now I see this as a limitation. In most cases, we'd want each note we export from Notability to live in its own separate page in OneNote. These notes could be for different topics and it would make no sense to consolidate them into a single note page. So if you plan on using Notability on a regular basis and would like to batch export notes into OneNote, I recommend the second method. Click on the gear icon for the settings menu. Go to Auto Backup. Choose OneDrive. The first time you set this up, it'll ask you to log into your Office 365 account. I've done this already. You can choose a destination or the folder in OneDrive where you want your notes to be synced to. I created a folder called Notability. If you have multiple Notability subjects, aka sections, you can choose which ones you like to back up. Now once this is all set up, our notes will be automatically backed up to our Notability folder in OneDrive. So at the end of each day, we can simply open up our OneDrive, drag each note into a page in our OneNote, and select Insert as Printout. 
This is really quick and easy. Now we have all our notes in one place. One thing I wanted to call out here is that these handwritten notes are not searchable in OneNote. At least I haven't been able to make it work. So it'll be important to insert some keywords in the page so that we can retrieve these notes easily later. And that's it for today's video. If you'd like to see a full tutorial on Notability, please let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make it for next week. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks and bye for now.